What's going on guys? And today we're going to talk about using uh, blood mill in your plants. And uh, today I have a bag of Job's organic blood mill. And basically what that is, 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 is dried blood that they crush down. And it's a, a organic uh, nitrogen supplement. Um, and I'll show you what it kind of looks like. And it's very simple to use. And you can you can get this like Job's. You can get this at at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, I got this bag at Lowe's for uh, six dollars and ninety seven cents, seven bucks. Um, and I believe it's uh, it's uh, three pounds. So it's going to last a good while. And I'm going to use it on some of my existing overwinter plants. As you can see, you can say, "What's that white stuff in there?" That's actually I I took uh, eggshells that I, I cleaned. And dry it out, and then and then crushed into a very fine, fine powder, very small shell, and I use that for for uh, the calcium. Uh, and today I'm going to use some uh, slow release. This is slow. It's not anything synthetic uh, that would be very fast acting. Uh, I don't mind it being slow. It's the winter time, so uh, generally stuff like this uh, takes a few weeks to to work in. To the plant and that's okay because uh, these are just overwintered plants and so but I, I do want them to be fed and to grow and nitrogen uh, encourages and, and, and encourages the plants to uh, grow and produce uh, green leaves and new growth and so uh, this is what I'm going to use I use uh, quite a few other different things but I, I do definitely use uh, bone meal every season on almost all plants as well as uh, some um, uh, bone meal uh, but today we're going to just talk about uh, blood meal and it's uh, it's 100% organic and uh, this is at 12% so it's pretty good pretty good percentage and uh, and it'll do its job on the plants so I do very simple I just take a open the bag and as you can see almost looks like crushed up charcoal and all I do is just uh, I just sprinkle a little bit on there uh, not too much uh, just enough that it's going to uh, it's going to slow release into and I'm not worried about it getting on like little leaves in there or whatnot because it's gonna the rain's gonna water it down in there so you know, you don't have to worry about having it totally clean. Uh, here I got this, this lychee plant. And I'm going to do the same here. Just a little a little scoop and I just kind of sprinkle it with my hands. Uh, I don't really use, you know, I, I judge it by just, just, just sprinkle a, a little bit on the top. It doesn't have to be exact. It's going to do its job. And we'll go to the next plant. This is a pubescent. And I got some some... Uh, shredded up uh, wood chips on there just to break down adds a little a lot a little uh, nitrogen very slow release but by the time summer comes around uh, it'll be broken down pretty good uh, because these will get repotted put in the uh, put in the uh, in the ground so but for overwintering purposes I have them in buckets or pots, so just kind of get it all around. Yeah, as you can see, this this plant is even even starting to flower again in January. So yeah, but yeah, this is it's very simple. Provides a a good uh, source of nitrogen to your plants, which uh, encourages growth and. You know, especially if you don't have a hydroponic store or anything like that, you can go to one of your big box stores uh, or even like an Ace or somewhere like that. And they're going to have, uh, may not be Job's brand, but it may be some other brand, which is fine because Blood Meal is 100% uh, organic and uh, and it's a great source of of nitrogen. Uh, to your plants. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.